Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into what people are saying online and the backlash that Jungkook has been getting for his possible new hair and piercing. I definitely have a lot of thoughts on this. I also want to get into Jenny and V together at a party and what happened there. There's been a lot of conversation about this online. So grab your Zemblin tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, let's be first leave your hate comment. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing let us get into, I want to talk about Jungkook's new photos that have resurfaced online. First off, I woke up to the tweetster trending that BTS was on their way to LA and armies as usual were tweeting out to have a safe flight. This trip is likely for their permission to dance concert. They will be having an offline concert. So I assumed they wouldn't have flown this soon and maybe closer to the end of the month. But perhaps they felt this was the safest time to fly and that it was better for them to be up in a hotel in LA and practice in LA than it would be to rush them later in the month. Also, if they have nothing else they need to do in Korea, then it makes sense for them to be in America. And maybe also this could be a hint that we will see BTS do some press here in America too. But this is just a theory that they are here for all this. We don't entirely know for sure. And even if BTS releases their itinerary and plans, things change and they could be doing different stuff. But when BTS was at the airport, there were so many paparazzi and people there waiting at the airport for them. And so many photos started to surface of the boys and we got to see how they look and in real time. We usually see these photos and videos of them talking and even a recent one where they submitted to the Melon Awards, but these are not videos filmed in real time. They likely could have known about the awards show a month ago and were asked to film their video. So it's not in real time and we often can't judge what their new look will be. But you can't hide too much at the airport and these photos are going to be what they look like right now. There were photos where it appeared like Jungkook had red hair again. Jungkook previously had red hair a little while ago and people had been asking for him to get red hair again. There were several theories and even videos made, I cannot find any more, about how staff and people around Jungkook talked about how people thought Jungkook's red hair was ugly and thus the reason he didn't do it again. I don't know how likely this is, but in my opinion, it doesn't feel true. I just highly doubt BTS listens to the haters like they make decisions on what they want to do based off of really dumb comments. If someone said they hated Jungkook's hair, but the bulk of armies are requesting red hair again, then you go and dye your hair red again. I simply think the red hair Jungkook era was just over. So he decided to go with new colors or the fact that around this time he wasn't dyeing his hair at all anymore. He wanted to keep it healthy. So there's many reasons why he stopped. I don't think he reads those hate comments. Neither do I think the staff would read them and then tell the idols the comments. I know a lot of people who just don't read the comments. And if I ever come across a negative comment about them, I don't tell them because there's no point. The most I would say if I was in a big hit staff and doing Jungkook's hair, I would be like, you sure you want to go with Ren? I actually like the mint better. Although most of the time, neither the stylist or Jungkook gets a big say. It's the say of what the concept of the new album will be. So if there's anyone calling Jungkook ugly or gross because of hair, let people live. Stop attacking people for their choices and things that don't affect you. I love the idea of seeing Jungkook with red again. However, there were also photos of Jungkook from a different angle and it seemed like, and it seemed to be the faded mint color we saw previously. So I'm not sure how in this particular light it appeared to be red. That is very strange to me. I don't know if it was edited or maybe a lens flare or the orange light or sunset light hit Jungkook's hair and then someone upped the saturation. But we don't know for sure if it's in fact red yet either, which if it was, we might be getting a more pop album or a more fun album coming up. So I can't wait to see it. There was also theories that Jungkook heading to LA or him just being him might actually have a nose piercing for this new comeback that everyone thinks is happening. With every comeback and song so far, it seems Jungkook is adding to his piercings and people believe under his mask he has a nose piercing. If Jungkook were to get a piercing, the piercing would likely be on the nose because there really isn't much else. I think he maxed out the piercing on the ears unless he decides to do another eyebrow piercing. I don't know. Or if he decides to pierce more of his lip, which I don't know if he would want to, but I guess why not? But we assume the nose is next, but we assume the nose is next and it's just perfect for him to get it too because he can just hide it with his mask. People are generally upset over Jungkook's piercing. I find it interesting that hair is almost more okay than piercings. Nothing is permanent, not even tattoos. You can get those removed and even then tattoos do fade a bit over the years with sun and just your skin healing. But all these things are a thing of expression and Jungkook has always been a very expressive person. He is also an artist and so the idea that any of them like piercings and tattoos should not be something that is jarring or sudden news. People who write things like they like the old Jungkook. This is the old Jungkook. In fact, Jungkook is finally able to physically represent how he felt in 
internally all these years. We don't know how envious he might have been looking at other idols with piercings and tattoos and how he wanted that. Now he has that and I totally trust that he would not get those things unless he wanted them and wanted them badly because he has to constantly wear long shirts and cover the tattoos in Korea. He knows this but he is willing to deal with all that because he personally likes to look in the mirror and see his tattoos and piercings. He is not doing this for you. He is doing this for himself and we are just along for the ride and some of us think it's hot like really hot. There has definitely been rumors of BTS's whereabouts and what they have been up to. There have been sightings apparently of Taehyung in LA about a week ago which I do think is weird because why would Taehyung go to LA and then go back to Korea just to fly back to LA last night? It's just like why not stay in LA then? Unless they needed to be in the studio to record a song but there's studios in LA. I don't know. What I am about to talk about is just a theory and I will talk about how likely it probably is. Let me give some backstory real quick. Jenny from Blackpink had some involvement in Squid Game. One of her best friends is Ho Young Chung who plays Kan Sebyeok in Squid Game and Jenny's involvement was more like staff. She bought coffee for everyone and I believe was even on set a couple times. They're close friends and have several selfies together. We're just kind of seeing more now because now they're suddenly both household names and so they were recently spotted together at the film gala. This is a place for mainly actors and actresses I believe and Jenny I don't think has been in any films but did have some involvement in Squid Game so I'm unsure if this party invited her or if Ho Young invited Jenny because of her involvement in Squid Game or invited her because of their friendship. But there was a selfie that was posted online of them and some other actors and right behind Jenny it appeared to be someone that looked like Taeyang. People were saying that it was Taeyang and that even Jenny might have invited him. People also thought it could have been Taeyang because Taeyang has acted before in films and could have been invited but as far as I'm aware BTS never appears at events solo like just one member appears and could be the reason why they don't go to a lot of events because often events want maybe one person and BTS needs to be seven. You'll have people like Rosé just attend the Met Gala without the other girls and theories like maybe specific members were invited to the Met Gala but maybe not all of them were so they never went. If it was Tam at the film gala we would for sure see the other members too but we don't. Other theories that I had was that this seems to be an American event and only people who were involved in American dramas or films were invited and Tang has never acted in an American film. Of course Squid Game is obviously not American and those actors that were invited are not American but the show was made to appeal to an international American audience. They did not make the show to appeal to Koreans and if you watch K-dramas you can definitely see they did stuff in the show that isn't really allowed in a lot of Korean shows but honestly we don't know. One of the main theories that came out of this was that it wasn't Tang in the photo but the actor Lee Min Ho. Here's a picture of him that night and we definitely see a lot of similarities here. I can definitely say that the person in the picture does look like Taehyung but I don't think it is him and I don't think Jenny would have been the one to invite him. I kind of think Jenny might have been a plus one herself and usually plus ones don't get a plus one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or it getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Currently, we do have over 400 videos that are already up on there that you have access to the moment you sign up. So if you're interested in being a part of that as well as interacting and having fun, then make sure you go over there and check it out. Link is in the top description down below. There's a video over there that goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front. Page. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.